We're in the library, that's right. I did say we would make sure we would go through slower because we kind of, not rushed, but we definitely overwhelmed ourselves a little bit going through last time. We had just finished... Oh, wait, how did I get in here then? Oh, that way. Yes, so we had just finished growing... I'm gonna zoom down, because did I end up bringing that other plant up? No, I didn't. I said I was going to, but I must have totally forgot to when I did it. Yeah, don't take him too much info this time. We're gonna have a look around, find what will fit the things. We have four plants, I think it is, to grow this time. I'm just quickly going and grabbing my plant from here. I went too far. That was the turn off I needed. Now, this is only a short game, so we should hopefully be able to finish it tonight. So where is my plant? There. Is there anywhere I'm supposed to actually put these or anything? Like, I feel like it should have somewhere I'm supposed to put them, but I've just sort of gathered them in the front room for now. I didn't notice this one. The flower is spinning. That seems highly unlikely. But we have done this one, which is the windmill wart. We have done the fulgaria. We have the ash plume. The pixie tears. And the wolf glove. So far. These five. We have four more that we're supposed to find in the library, which was up. A windmill wart? Is that what I said? What did I call it? Oh, because it spins, right. Don't worry about me. Okay. Uh, this is the library, yes, in here. Okay, uh, we started here. We can't go up, but I think that just sort of overviews. I guess we could see if there's anything up here. Oh, it's very creaky up here. Something here. The golden fish. One bright morning, a poor fisherman caught a shining golden fish. The fish cried. Please let me live. I am not a fish, but a prince, enchanted by a wicked spell. So the fisherman let the fish go free. When the fisherman's wife learned of this, she demanded the fish grant a wish in return for its freedom. A cottage instead of the hovel where they lived. So the fisherman returned to the shore and the fish granted their wish. But the wife was greedy and demanded riches, a palace and servants. All the while, the ocean became darker and the shore black with dirt. Finally, the wife wished to be so powerful that she could grant wishes for herself. Return for this greedy request, the fish revoked all of the wishes it had granted. After that, the ocean became blue again, and the shore clean, and the fisherman never saw the golden fish ever again. Damn. It's so nice. Like, I want this. Company is respectfully solicited at a New Year's ball to be given at Somerset Hall. Thursday, 4th January, 1860. Supper is at 6 o'clock. Good music in attendance. E. Grimes, Propertier. Anything on the other side? There is. Cousin, wash your hands and accompany me. You won't find a husband at the bottom of the garden. Yes, something tells me we never did end up marrying. We have another one. The hare and the tortoise. At midday, a hare and a tortoise took a walk together. The hare moved quickly and noticed the tortoise struggling to keep up. The hare laughed and challenged the tortoise to a race. The tortoise accepted. A course was decided and the race began. The hare immediately leapt out of sight but then laid down to take a nap, sure that the tortoise would never catch up. The tortoise plodded slowly on, making his way towards the fish finish line. 
When the hare awoke from his nap, he opened his eyes just in time to see the tortoise crawling slowly across the finish line. The proud hare had been so sure that he would win and underestimated the tortoise. As the tortoise crossed the finish line, he exclaimed, Slow and steady wins the race. I had just read this to um, Jennifer earlier this week. The rising sun. Little planty. I would I would honestly love to have a a library like this. Okay. The fox and the crow. One evening a fox was in search of something to eat for dinner. He saw the crow sitting on a tree branch holding a piece of a big piece of tasty cheese in her beak. So the fox came up with a plan. He walked up to her crow and complimented her shiny black feathers. The crow was suspicious of the fox and kept her beak tightly closed on the cheese. The fox kept on charming the crow, describing her as the most majestic of all birds, with a big strong beak. Oh, what a song that beak must make. It must be the song of a queen. Please, beautiful crow, let me hear it. Flattered by the praise, the crow forgot all about her suspicion and also her dinner. So she opened her beak wide out to her lattice caw and down fell the cheese. Ouch. Straight into the fox's open mouth. Damn. How did you manage that? Oh, okay, we have the rising sun. I wonder if there's an order to it. How pretty. Another one here. Wonders of the night sky. Okay, now I just gotta work out the order, I'm guessing. Uh huh. Okay. I'm just gonna click them in. Okay. How am I supposed to know which one comes first? Okay, midday would be middle. Rising sun would probably be first, right? Okay, now morning? Or is it rising sun, then morning? Rising sun, then morning, then, what did I say, the hair? Rising sun, which one was the morning one again? I'm an idiot. I didn't actually regard what it was. It's the hair, right? It's the midday one. It was rising sun. Which one were you? The fish. The fish was second, then the hair. Then the hair. That was not a fish. Hang on. And was this? One evening. And it's the moon, okay. So we're gonna go sun, morning, midday, evening, night. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Sunset, first of May, red, orange, yellow, pink. 
Sunset 22nd of May. Blue, yellow, pink, orange. And sunset. Sunset 8th of July. Blue, purple, pink, orange. Okay. The London Record in the Weekly Journal of Literature, Science and Art for the week ending of 9th of May 1829. Lindley appointed Chair of Botany at University College London. After an esteemed early career as an assistant secretary to the Horticulture Society and admission as one of the youngest ever fellows to the Linen Society, Linnean, sorry, not Linen, Society, John Lindley plans to elevate the science of botany. He spoke thus in his inaugural lecture. It has been very much the fashion of late years in this country to undervalue the importance of this science and to consider it an amusement for ladies rather than an occupation for the serious thoughts of man. Lindley also challenged the Linnean classification systems and proposed many changes. Hmm. Sunset, 14th of October. Green, blue, pink, orange. Sunset, 29th of April. Purple, red, orange, yellow. There's a lot of sunsets around. It just slipped. <laughs> I just saw that part. Are you going to do something at least with your time? This guy? Yeah. They, uh, all the guys we've come across so far, except for maybe the... the, the guy... that, um... cooks for us. Seems pretty kind of crappy. Sunset, 8th of August. Blue, purple, red, orange. Sunset 12th of September, blue, yellow, orange, red. And sunset 25th of June, blue, purple, orange, red. We got our first seeds. Nightfall, Lilium Hesperides. Hesperides. Good, you gotta do it. I vaguely recall my grandmother studying the nightfall when I was young. Key for the study. Nice. Nightfall progress. I have been trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom for a little while now. I'm determined to prove it's more than just a myth. So far, I have deducted, I deduced, sorry, that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time of year, when exactly that occurs, still remains a mystery to me. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow and continue my research. Task for this month. Monitor nightfall seedlings. Rose planting is at list. Collect field samples, seed collection. Let me just. Rose planting list. Okay, yes, that was correct. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Suntan paintings. Grandma's research. Anything else in here at all? Go to the study now. This didn't have as much in it as I was expecting. No worries. Let's worry about missing something then. Oh, that's pretty. Meadow Orchids of Britain, collected and researched by Professor J. Montague. This is by, assisted by R. Brown. My dear friend, I have been pondering these last weeks what could be the best way to see your remarkable flora reach the wider world, since it is so seldom we are able to see our work published. Considering your uncle's reputation in the scientific field, have you considered asking him to publish a herbarium under his name? may not give you the recognition you deserve personally, but it would be a way to re reach your goal of adding to the scientific record on botany. Do consider it. I would hate for such important research to stay hidden away. With warmest regards, Anne. January 1890. Arabella, I have some more books from the department that may be of interest for your research. One, I recall, was a favourite of your father's. If you have any trouble when you visit the college, Tell the secretary you are collecting materials for your uncle. 
So long as they are returned before summer ends, the other professors won't notice. Best of luck with your research. Uncle Theodore. That's a nice guy. Fungi of Britain. Mushroom food sources. Just like plants, fungi needs food sources to grow strong and healthy. However, some fungi haven't always had access to nutrients through soil and have evolved to retrieve it in different ways. This means they have become carnivorous because they only acquire the nutrients they need by consuming other living organisms such as flies, bugs and plants. Some mushrooms even get their nutrients from feeding on another type of fungus or parasite. Mushrooms growing on a tree is usually a sign that they are consuming the tree, so you should remove them immediately. Not always the case. Nice guy. We have more seeds. We have the Sapphire Gloom. Patherella Corellia. Patherella Corellia? Judging by the name, I don't believe this to be an edible mushroom. Do I really not have... Oh, that's the mushroom book would be for this one. Tree diseases. Red tree pox. If a tree is infected with red tree pox, many small red spots will be visible on the bark. It can usually be cured by adding fertilizer to the soil of the tree. Hypoxylin. Hypoxylin causes black patches to form on the bark of the tree. It is a, uh, usually a sign that the tree is lacking in hydration and won't stay alive for much longer. Root parasite. The root parasite is a fungus that forms purple rings on the bark and roots. The parasite leaches the nutrients that the tree receives from the soil. Eventually, it causes the tree to dry out and lose all of its leaves. There's currently no known cure. Bark rust. Bark rust is a disease that isn't very harmful to the tree. It is usually caused by excessive hydration and too much sunlight. I thought that was um, tree rot. But... The egg! One egg, duck egg, owl, mallard, quail, duck, arrow, and so tiny. But what's the point of the eggs? That's really pretty. Guessing we need to work out what you are. That's purple rings, correct? That one, right? Root parasite. The root parasite is a fungus that forms purple rings. The parasite leeches. No, currently no cure. I wonder if the fungus, the 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 one we're going to grow, can help kill it. Let's try this one first. We seem like we might need to go more places to find more of the stuff for the other one. So we can plant it out here. Oh look, we got all these eggs as things as well. I wonder if they've got anything to do with the eggs. Okay, we went pot. Alright, sick. Buy gloom, bit of water. I'm gonna grab you and we're gonna try this. Yeah, look at that! A hair! Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Nice. This one was easy. The sapphire gloom is a widely misunderstood mushroom. It grows commonly on trees and as opposed to popular belief, the mushroom consumes its parasites rather than the tree itself. How pretty. I just brought this tree to life. Which means we can go inside it. Not the tree, the room. The hair. Oh. We're on a whole other side of the house now. The trapped fairy. Hmm. 
cradle fern. This is holding particular kind of egg, if you notice. Oh look, we have some more gardening stuff here. Yoo-hoo! Aquatic weed removal. Do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? We are specialized in removing the following weeds. Algae, Himalayan balsam, brook, talus, duckweed. Make an appointment today. It is very pretty. Cradle fern. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to need that egg for this. Which actually I can do there. Bird's eggs. And which one would it be? The fern painting? Somerset Society for Wildlife Protection offers a petition to be presented to the Honourable House of Commons. In re recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset Rivers. Tragically, this has led to the decline and even extinction, extinction of some bird species. No longer can we hear their beautiful chime like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers of Somerset. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No expensive ten signing. Your signature, Arabella Green. The Trap Fairy, a folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of the time and the day turned into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offence and decided to punish the little fairy. Nyx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun arose, the spell broke. Though just as the fairy awoke from her enchantment, flower blood closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Hmm. So it's just at the start of morning that we want. So we need to find the right color one. Or no, not that one. This one. With the fairy painting and the fairy story. My dear Nova, never forgotten. Oh, pretty kitty. Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plane collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I am not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On my recent visit to Brinsby, the young men showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants. Due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all useful time and eradication was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip of our own, and perhaps we can see these specimens in their own in their home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. I can't imagine what it would have been like to live as a woman during these days. Tink tincture of red clover. Chamomile and red clover seems to soothe hot flushes. Essence of Anika flower. Sprains, strains, and joint pains. I need some of that myself right now. Oh, what a bathroom. Wilson Plumbers to Lady Arabella Green. 15th of May, 1890. Installation of disconnected pipes. Total 14. Whatever S is. I can't remember. Dear Arabella, here is our quote to repair the geyser in your bathroom. The cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job best left to the professionals. Have a nice day, Frederick. Mm, we'll see about that. Seems easy enough to me. Oh, I'm gonna put a plant in here. A hot bath at the turn of a tap. Number 30, 
fast geyser. Provided a rapid flow, provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. It can be used multiple times in a row without an, any extra cost. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine though? Like, having to have your hot water system in your bathroom? Like surely that would be better than having to come and refill it up constantly with buckets of hot water. But wow. Why can I flush the toilet though? <laughs> All right, let's come out for now. Oh, we can go up further. I'm not gonna go up yet. I wanna go on that side first. We'll do this floor before we move on. Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent meadow orchid research expedition. Keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids was so helpful. Your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. I look forward to the future. Collaborations and the continued explorations of the botanical wonders that surround us. I will put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. Most sincerely, Professor Montague. Oh, another key. For the attic. Okay, well, we don't need the attic key right now. Official Government Health and Safety Warning. 8th of August, 1890. It has been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Iron Works has been illegally dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Do not swim in the following rivers. River Cam, River Summer, River Chu. The river from was also affected by the waste. Though oddly, the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We are still researching what led to the effect. Mayor of Somerset. It's probably a plant. <laughs> Somerset River Trust. River swimming this season. Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer, so we have cleared the most popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The River Cam, the River Chew, and the River Summer have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services of Clark's Aquatic Weed Removal Co. Thanks for your continued support. Thanks to your monthly donations, the River of Somerset are clean and weed-free. Monthly donations can be made by appointment or by subscription. By appointment or subscription in writing to blah 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 blah. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. I did look at that one already, yes. Dearest Arabella. Oh, 10th of August. My birthday, yeah! Thanks nice to be powerful, yes they do. Dearest Arabella, I was taking an, a walk along a river in Somerset recently and noticed the site that I just had to write to you about. In the water, I saw the brook Talus blooming. I've never seen or heard of it flowering before. None of my books mention it. Mention of it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what would have caused this? Ever your friend, Edith. Let's have a sit, shall we? And let's stand up. The flower growing companion, gardening curiosities, trap moths. Sometimes a moth can become trapped inside a flower bud if it closes in the morning. The moth is then forced to use a flower bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom for short periods of time, uh, uh, periods during the year. So if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open again until many months later. Wonder if it's got to do with the the Ooh Moss of England. The um the um the fairy had eye hawk moth wings, I'm pretty sure. Or was it the garden tiger moth? Oh okay, cool. Let's the No, I think it's a tiger moth. So let me just, we want trap moths, moth calendar, moth poster. We have another clue we need. I 
This one's the bath one, right? What was the petition for again? The birds. Two. I don't know if this one's got to do with that one. This one. But oh, we need one more for that. So we're gonna... We need what one? Garden Tiger Moth. There. September. Okay, green, yellow, yellow, blue. So I'm just gonna run back. Where was it? Yeah. Wait. I'm going in all the wrong ways. It's the turn. Ah, uh, thirty. And the third one. Where did I see them? Oh, in the closed off spot in the library. September. October, April. July. May, May. August, September. Okay, September. Blue, yellow, orange, red. This is the one we want. We need to remember blue, orange, blue, yellow, orange, red. That's sunset though. Oh, that sunset's when it's open, so that's probably what we want it to be. How do we mimic sunset? Blue, yellow, orange, red. Go up and see if there's more up here. I'm probably gonna need to put the pig in the bath. The sight of plants. Some scientists have theorized have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems which allows them to see the color of light. This means the flower can tell the time of day and know when to open or close the buds. The exact time that flowers bloom is different for each flower, but most do appear to respond to light and the color of light in some way. Horticulturists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming any time they like. Okay, that would probably be our last clue then, for this one. Oops. Oh god, I'm... I want the government notice. I want the size of mine. There we go. Okay. So, do we have anything I, we can plant up here? I'll look at the other stuff when we come back up. I'll leave that for now. I have the seed for you, I don't I? Yes, let's do the nightfall because I can do this here. So I'm gonna go and get it so that's up here. Where is the closest one here? Nightfall one. A little bit of water. Nice. Away we go. I do like that they're not too overly complicated. Okay, so we need to find. Now that we're up here, we can have a look around as we go along. My dear niece, I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. I've arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbour's son, Edward. He's successful in business in London. Your cousins, William and Thomas, may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small studies of life for which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son. It would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. I am confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from 5 o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. Yours very sincerely, Aunt Agnes. Why don't you go marry someone instead? Mm 
another duck. What seeds are you? The chalice seeds, okay. Do I have all the seeds yet? I do, okay. Like it seems like the uncle has no issue. The Botanist Digest. This month, in conversation with Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids. In his words, every plant, every leaf, and every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. My aim is simply to uncover some of those mysteries. Professor John Montague, renewed bot botan botanist, botanist, Jesus, for the life of me, just could not say that word, sheds light on his groundbreaking... Give me a second, I'm going to have a drink of water, and I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in the world of m meadow orchids and his botanical wonders. With decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montague's contributions to the field has been nothing short of revolutionary, including discoveries of new species such as the Dactylorhiza Montague or Hood Marsh Orchid. Okay. The rainbow. Okay, but how do I get a rainbow? Oh, yeah. Okay, we needed blue first. Blue, yellow, orange, and red. Okay, let's give that a go. Hey! <laughs> First try. Wonder if a moth's gonna be inside it. Oh no, but that's really pretty though. Hooray! My grandmother would be proud. Seeing the nightfall bloom is a rare event. The flower only blooms with September, with September sunsets. Night pollinators active in September, such as the garden tiger, often gets trapped once the bud closes for the rest of the year. Nice! We have another flower. I should come back and get the pig as well while I remember, but I'm gonna take one down to the rest. Another friend! I do need the pig for the bath. Don't mind me, just coming with a rusty pig. Okay, you're in there. I do need to know what the temperature is first and also get the plant. Let's have a look this side now though. There's a whole door here we didn't go through. Uh -uh. Rivers of Somerset, River X, River of Parrot, River Yo, River Tone, River From, the Brew, Cam, Summer. So we know Cam and Summer were both um, um, cut off. What was the uh, temperatures? Which one was it that was? Where is it? Yeah. From. Okay. So what temperature was from? Temperature of twenty-five. Okay. To the bath. Okay, that's ready. Let's go plant our thing. We also need to... Which one is it? This one. Need two more clues, but what are they? Which one was... This one was the bird one, yeah? This would... But this one would be the weed removal, maybe?
Uh, <laughs> e. E. Nice. Well, at least you've worked on a bit, as you said. What was a petition for? Rook Chalice. This one. So I didn't mean to. So that was the petition, the weed removal as well. What other things do I have? Therefore, being used is government notice. What was a government notice one? That was this one. Yes, this is a government notice. Yes, that would be also for them for this one. I do like that they won't turn into the page unless they're the correct ones. Okay. There is something to read in here. Dearest Arabella, I'm writing to share with you an exciting discovery I've made in my botanical studies. It turns out that some plants are particularly sen sensitive to sound and seems to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from the natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future. Would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Yours sincerely, Marianne. Seems like we have a lot of female um, botanists that we're friends with. Which is very nice to see. Okay. Some soil, and we are doing the brook chalice. And just double checking. This is a river one with the rest, yes. To the bath! Okay, here we go. Nice. Ooh. That's so pretty. Can I not take this one plant? Maybe I can after. Well, the flowers are gorgeous. The brook chalice prefers to grow in rivers with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The plant naturally filters the water from rust and metal. Fortunately, they get removed often. Most people prefer the ponds to be weed free. Nice. That's another little plant for our collection. Let's jog it down. Woo! The tomato, the tomato, the apple one is the one we had the hardest time with. You can go right there. Look how pretty they look together. Okay. Now. That sounds chaotic. We've done the nightfall, we've done sapphire gloom, and we've done the brook chalice. We just have to do... The cradle fern. Don't have any more. So let's go upstairs. We still have stairs over here that we haven't gone up. Oh yes, we have sounds. Bird calls. Oh, here we go. Shoveler duck, blue heron, shell duck, pintail, golden mallard, crested owl. Okay. I do know... So this should be easy. Goes quickly, I'll put that in, so that's done. I saw a picture of um I appreciate it. Can I read this one? Yes I did. There was a picture on the wall, where is it? It had the colour of the bird. It's a blue drops one. So let's go in here. Just here, what is the blue drops? This one, it's a crested... A crested owl egg. You right? Hmm? Ah. Crested owl egg. So... Let's, whoops, hang on, quickly... Where are you? Cradle fan. It's a crested owl. 
that I believed it was in. Let's put you here. Press it out, let's see. E, C, D, E, G, F. E, C, D. Wait, it was bottom D, wasn't it? Yes, so E, C, D, higher E. E, C, D, E, G, F. Alright, let's just start again. E, C, D, E, C, F. There we go. Cradle fern is used by the crested owl as the nest, and in turn the plant has grown independent on the owl's chime like call to grow. Hooray! Oh, I've got a delivery! Let's go! I almost. Wait, where am I? This way. I got a little trusted hand. Let's put you... Yeah. 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 Alright, let's go see what we got. Maybe another key for another area? Have I seen everywhere? I don't know. At least I don't have stamina. Okay. Lady Arabella, I apologize wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the formal garden home with me. It was in my pocket and I was simply... It was simply forgotten... Wait. I had simply forgotten it was there. I didn't want to disturb your research, so I've left the key in the basket here for you, Jimmy. Nice. To the formal garden. Where was that? Um, uh, map. I have a map. Whee! Um, garden is 13. Back area. How can I get there? Through 4. So I come up back here and turn right. This one. Let's look from the other side. Is there another way in? Okay, we can go through seven, so we gotta go back through the house. Now... <laughs> Do you need to maybe give your um, keyboard a clean? One doesn't lead outside. How do we get outside again this way? The other side of the house. Well, we can have a look tomorrow where we're out. Here we go. Formal garden. Five. Climbing up. A big duck. Three new plants. What a sweet little picnic. Illustrated penny paper. It was a message. Local man reports mystery signal. A gentleman farmer has reported sightings of mysterious blinking lights coming from caves near his home in Cheddar. In his own words, I was walking my dog and lost track of time a little. It soon became dark and I decided to make the walk back home. The way to my home house on the way to my on the way to my house. On the way to my house is a tiny cave, and as I walked by, I noticed the blinking light pattern cast from the cave entrance. I was sure it was one of those Morse code messages. When I approached the cave, the light source vanished, and... Nobody was there. I'm convinced that what I saw was a Morse code abbreviation for attention. 
I will never forget that one abbreviation as it was the first message I learned in Morse code. Local authorities have assured our journalists that there have been no recent military activity or exercises in the area, so the mystery remains unsolved. Oh. Go up here first. And serious greetings. Dearest Arabella, I was delighted after our recent mentoring session. You do excellent work as a fellow scholar in the natural world. I recall the spring dense shrub that once grew so abundantly as a large climbing shrub yet. Your garden. There's a little bit here and there where they haven't ridden very well. But for the most, I mean, it's easy to understand. I recall the spring dense shrub that once grew so abundantly as a large climbing shrub in your garden. Elsewhere, I have only ever seen it growing as a small seedling. I have been compiling plant specimens that require pollination to mature into the adult stage. I'm certain the spring dense shrub could be one of these plants. Ever your affectionate friend. Livinia. Okay, chemical compounds in wildflowers. Jasmine's ha Jasmine has indole, puppy has opium, foxglove has digitoxin, fool's emerald has luciferin, daffodil has galantamine, and St. John's wort has hyperacin. I'm not sure what that does for us at the moment. The marvel of bioluminescence. In the darker corners of our world, there are plants and organisms that are able to reproduce their own light. These plants, fungi, and insects are most often found in areas of low light, such as dark forests, deep oceans, and gloomy caves. Recent discoveries show that chemicals such as luciferin are responsible for these glowing effects. It is not known what this glowing effect is used for, but it could be for communication with others of the same species or to attract pollinators or food. Scientists believe that there, there are many bioluminescent species waiting to be discovered. I see what you've done. But... <laughs> but bioluminescent... Uh, algae. The diversion. Fool's Emerald. A friend gifted me the seeds, so I don't know too much about them yet. So we've got... Spring dance shrub. These flowers, bro flowering bush used to grow in the gardens but have completely disappeared when I was off on my travels. Okay. Oscillate. A friend of mine found these seeds and was kind enough to let me use them for my herbarium. Hmm. Ah, that's, so that's where that is. So which means on the other side of this should be the gate. I can't go down there, but I can see a cave somewhere. Mr. Benet, the telegraph you ordered arrived while you were at the farmer's market. They delivered it by boat. I left it at the boathouse since I didn't know where you'd like to keep it. There appears to be a Morse code manual inside the case as well, Jimmy. Cool. Oh, different pots. Goddard's garden supplies. Catalog purchased by postal orders. New materials for garden pots. Terracotta, granite, sandstone, marble, or obsidian. So I'm guessing I need to put one of these ones in a particular one. Tips for growing hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are beautiful flowers that contain anthocyanin, which is a pigment that can change color depending on the pH levels of its environment. Colors can vary between red, purple, and blue. Okay. We have peat, coffee, manure, guano, wood ash, seaweed. We can't do anything with it. Section for communication over long distance. The method of communication over long distance must be selected according to the requirements of the scenario. The message contains no sensitive information or there is no enemy present no enemy presence within the communication area. An open method of communication such as 
holography may be used. Open communication is permissible. Both receivers may still benefit from the abbreviation of messages. See plate two for a table of commonly used military abbreviation, abbreviations using telegraphy and Morse code. Close communication methods rely more upon te both technology and ingenuity in the case of secrecy and obfuscation planning is required and both parties must have knowledge of the method of encryption used. That felt really weird to try and read it like that. Telegraphy abbreviations of prosigns. R for Roger. K over. AR out. AS wait. VE is verified. Int. Say again. HH correction. BT break. KA tension. SK over and out. So we wanted a tension, didn't we? SK, uh, KA, message begins. My sweet Hazel, are you keeping well today? Jimmy's only gone and broken the lawnmower again. If it weren't for my war injury, I wouldn't be letting him loose the mower. Instead, he ran over some hard object down in the long grass near the pond. I had a brief look and couldn't see anything. Sometimes I wonder about that boy's sensibilities. Save me some of your lovely scones. Yours always, Mr. Bennett. Oh, oh that's unlocked now. I'm bringing the bird somewhere, but how do I do it without hearing it? Ooh. Anthocyanines research. Spring dance shrub. Blue, violet, purple, white, pink, red. pH. Okay, let's look how we get the pHs. Let's have a look before we worry about the bird. Dear Miss Green, I have recently heard of your involvement in the mentoring of aspiring botanists. Botany is a field that demands a thorough understanding of its complexities. And while I admire your dedication, the saying, the blind leading the blind, does come to mind. All jests aside, I do hope your endeavours in mentoring will yield some semblance of progress. Sincerely, Professor Thornton. Hmm. Dear Mr. Bennett, thank you so much for the lovely bunch of rhubarb from your nephew's garden. He needn't have sent anything in return for the herbal pulses I gave him for his little one, but I am grateful all the same. I know he hasn't the money to fetch the doctor. Since you said he cannot read a note, please send him my thanks when you see him. Faithfully yours, Hazel. It's sad to think that there was a time where not everyone had that luxury of learning to read. How pretty. Ooh, there's a the second one. Exceed, garden birds. Highest quality. Track a host of garden birds such as bluebirds, finches, robins, and warblers with this seed prepared at the highest quality levels. Simply spread the seeds on an appropriate bird table or leading service and observe the delight your feathered a garden neighbors. Okay, so I'm going to be using this to bring it along. I'll make sure I bring it up. It's probably how I'm going to get it to be able to come down. Attracting birds with colour. Red flowers, blue flowers, yellow flowers, purple flowers, orange flowers. Okay. Just like bees, birds can pollinate flowers. But did you know that birds have a preference to pollinate flowers of certain colours? The above chart shows which colour of flower attracts which birds to your gun. So there's more birds around or I need that bird? I need to make sure I grow it right. Hmm. That I get boathouse. Let's bring this one up though. See, 
only bird I have seen so far. Live there for now, we'll come back. Oh, how pretty is that? This place just keeps going on and on and on. Oh, look, we have one. This looks like a, almost like a, a rose. When was that? The one that used to grow in the gardens. Where did I read that? Yeah. What was this note? Bring down shrub. Reading card. for the Fool's Emerald. The plant chemicals, correct? Yes. This is a bioluminescent. You are the bioluminescent one then, which is also... Oops, wait, why is that pod catalog? Oh, hang on, I'm on the wrong one, that's why. This one, nope. Yeah, no, this one, it's not meant to be here. Greeting, the greeting card. No, you're the greeting card. Yeah, let's reset. Why are they clicking on the wrong ones? There we go, Jesus. Okay, Fool's Emerald was the news article. Plant chemicals, bioluminescent, military codes. I don't know what the other one was. Rub. Don't know much about the shrub yet. Pretty. Dearest cousin, whilst I hold a deep fascination for the pursuit of knowledge in science, I must admit that the subject of spiritualism is not one that particularly captivates me. Therefore, I must return this book to you. However, I appreciate your efforts in sharing your interest with me. With affection, Arabella. Phenomena of spiritualism. The Willow Wisp. Glowing spirit of marshes, forests, and caves. Willow Wisp is an eerie appar apparition that has long been the subject of both fear and fascination. It makes its appearance to lost travellers in dark, isolated places, it beckons them to follow with its begilding, blinking light. Many a wanderer has followed the wisp Wisp's alluring light across marshes into caves never to be seen again. Take heed, those who venture into dark places resist the temptation of the Willow Wisp's shimmering radiance. Turn back before it's too late. Okay, well that makes your one. No? I thought that would have been a... Is it not? Spiritualism book? Oh. 
Uh, maybe it just didn't work properly. What is this a handle for? Very pretty. Let me just. Finish painting. Very pretty. I have the boathouse key, so let's head him down there. A very cool handle. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do there. It's like a water tap handle. National Morse code for the transformation of telegraph signals. So we need K and A, so dash dot dash and dot dash. Dash dot dash dot dash. Because we need KA for attention. Can I do anything? No, I'm gonna put you out here for a second. Dash dot dash dot dash. Okay, hand. Hmm. I if that's just a practice or not. No, that's okay. I'll come back. If I, I'll have a look around. I want to find where this handle goes for now, to be honest. Hello. What are we playing? Foraging critters. Acorn collect three tokens. Wood mouse. Wood mice are very small and live in woodlands, but also many other habitats, including fields, parks, meadows, and gardens. Mole. Moles live underground and have poor vision. They find food and mates using their sense of smell and touch. Red squirrel. Red squirrels live in nests high up in the trees, sometimes forage food back to the nest to keep later. Foraging critters, game rules, game setup. Shuffle the food cards and place the stack face down in the center of the game board. Place the food tokens around the food cards on the board. Place the animals at the start tile. Players choose the animals by rolling the dice. The highest roller chooses first. Playing the game, take turns to roll the dice and move your animal along the woodland path. The highest roller goes first. If you land on a food tile, pick up the food card. If your animal matches the card, you can collect the tokens specified on the food card. If you land on the grey squirrel tile, it steals all of your food tokens and they must return to the board. The player who has the most food tokens in the nest at the end of the game is a winner. Woodland cards, the rabbit, wood mouse, red squirrel. Field cards, the red squirrel. Animal cards, the hedgehog and mole. And meadow cards, the rabbit, wood mouse and mole. Hmm. We playing. Oh, I didn't mention that. Rabbit, hedgehog, gray squirrel, can't. Okay. William Foley to Lady Arabella Green. Classroom desk with chair, classroom notebooks, box of 20, chalkboard, ink, black, blue box, ink, red box, writing materials, display case, teaching desk. Okay, what's the point of seeing this? Dear Lady Arabella, thank you for your order. As discussed, we will write again in the coming months to inform you of the delivery date for these school supplies. All the best, W. Foley. Whoop, I got the wrong buttons in my fingers. I 
wonder what we're supposed to do with them. Animal husbandry and rehabilitation. Role work with animals domesticated and wild. Cow, horse, animal heartbeat rate. Okay. Oh, there's seeds here. Well, I'm guessing these have to do with the playing cards, board game rules, animal heartbeats for now. Hmm. All right, I think we need to go maybe back. Where does this lead to, though? Oh, okay. Well, that just leads back around then. That's handy to know. But we do need to head back around to that other one. Go move that birdie around. And then we'll come and worry about the luminescent one somehow. I don't want to scare it. It's very realistic the way it flies. Ah! Uh, goes all the way back if it sees me. Okay, how do I do this then? Okay, I need to make sure I'm on this side of it when I move. Move it. It's okay, we should be able to do it. Off you go. Do this one then. Can I go around? I can, okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're getting there. Be real careful. Do not want to scare it off. It's a little tedious having to go all the way around multiple times just to get it, but that's okay. This 
should be the last one. Hmm, maybe I should have had the plant in place first. Okay, we have a robin, it's a red flower. So this is a flower one. Hmm. That's the animal one, so I don't think it's that that's a different one. That's the bioluminescent one, so it probably is this one, right? Red seeds, third poster, and the pigment research. Hydrangea? Greeting card is not right. Wait, is it? Let's reset. This has got the military codes, the most code, bioluminescent news article, and. Reading card. Let's go back. Have a look again. What did I miss? What what have I got wrong? Okay, we know the fool's emerald is the bioluminescent one. I'm just going to reset all. Bioluminescent. This is the plant chemicals and the bioluminescent thing. Okay, and the spring dance shrub one. The greeting card, so I can leave that. I'm gonna take all of them off and then re put it back on. So 
something here. What was this one? This is it night? So I would suggest this one is the news article. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to put any seed in it yet. Just a telegraph. Okay, we know the hydrangeas change colour depending on pH levels. It has. I have. I am a little lost because I collected every single bit of information at once. But we did. We did the other ones. Hmm. What do we need, though, for the thing? Glass contain anthocyanin, which is the pigment that can change colour depending on the pH level. It doesn't say what one we want for it, though. What do we need that for? The handle for? I haven't seen what the handle's for yet. How was the game? I know little about sport. But was it enjoyable at least? Yeah. Oh, okay. We need purple, five to seven pH. Oh, I missed this one. Okay, we need a five to seven. I don't see any 527. Is it like 527? Yes, okay. Good until the last 15 minutes we lost, but it was entertaining. Well, it's a shame you lost, they lost, but at least it was fun. Okay. So we need purple. Which is five to seven. Is there anything on the back? No. <sighs> so do I need to make a mixture maybe? Five, six. It's, it's getting there. You definitely tell that it was autumn now. This is five to seven. So do I need something in between? It's drive safe.
think we just go for the seven. This says five to seven. If we just go for the seven. So I need to make sure that I use the correct pot and have the right pH for the shrub. Okay. So we could probably just go then for granite with the seaweed. So we're going to do that. So pigment research. And... Make sure I'm pressing the right thing. Pot catalogue. I don't know what that telegraph one was. I'll have to look again. Soil, BH. What has it got to do with the birds? There we go. We got it. First one. All right. So I need to get, what did I say? The granite, the seaweed. Granite, granite. How would you pronounce it? Okay, we need... This one? Is... Okay, I need to do it after. Are we going to use this one to plant though? This one was for the fern, for the shrub, I mean. Okay, well, I watered it. I want seaweed. Okay, and let's go take it down to the birdie. Hopefully that was right. I'm hoping the bird doesn't get scared when I try and put the pot, because otherwise I'm going to have to bring it all the way back down again. Did have it right, right? That's a robin. Right? Do I have the wrong one? That's a robin, or at least a bullfish. Yeah, that's a robin. pH bro. Need red flowers, not purple flowers. I need to do the wrong something wrong. Hang on, let's go check. I'll worry about the burden after it. Next one up. see it over on this table. Which table did I see it at now? Put there for a second. I don't want purple, I wanted red. That's my totally my bad. I need twelve to fourteen. Okay, so I want sandstone and seaweed. So I do have the right stuff inside it. Wrong thing. Empty this out. I need sandstone. I totally forgot. Put you back. Sandstone looks like what? Uh, that's marble. That's obsidian. That's terracotta. That would be the sandstone. Almost had it. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, 
Do we need seaweed? Ooh, look, it turned red. Okay. It's shy, it's so cute. Where it, like, closes up. Alright, I do have to, unfortunately, do the whole shebang again with the bird. That, that didn't come out very nice. But this will at least already be in place. Now we're all the way back down for the second one. It's 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 an interesting way they have you move the bird, but oh, it's so tedious. At least we now we know exactly where to stand for each part. Imagine, like, I'm how old? We said 55. The 55 year old running around, around, like, moving uh, bird cages over and over. I would love a garden like this. I just, I don't know if I'd ever be able to look after it without accidentally killing everything. I would only have a garden like this if it's stuff I could afford someone to decently look after it. The spring dense shrub contains anthocyanins, causing it to change colour depending on the pH level of its environment. So the spring dense lichen, lichen causes a red petal colour. Robins love red flowers and will often enjoy its company. Well, I'm stealing your friend. Ha ha ha. Let me take this real quickly up. Alright, we just gotta work out the, the bioluminescent one and the um the boathouse one, the Morse code one. Whatever the other one is. It looks weird because it's in a different pot. Okay, I'm guessing I'm done over here. There's birds everywhere now. Okay, should be done in there now. We can get you back on. Soil. Okay, what are we? What haven't we done? We haven't done the fool's emerald or the ocelot. Do we have anything else we can put down? Military codes, the Morse code, and I'm guessing they were up. Okay, cool. And I need the Gold Emerald for this one. Where do I put you? 
Oh! Ah, uh, we're gonna put you real quick. Handle goes up here. Oh, and it's all the way down at the boathouse. Never mind. I know, it's all the way at the end. I wonder what the other one is for here. I feel like we went right past it though. Where did I put it again? Inside the house, didn't I? Oh, there's a ducky here. Secret ducky. Oh, I did that one already. I didn't read this. How weeds spread. Weeds can take over an area quite rapidly. Some weeds have adapted in order to spread their seeds as far away as possible. The plant itself does not have much control over this, but true na trust nature to lend a helping hand. Wood avens and goose grass have seeds with a hook designed to attach to the fur of passing animals. They are then carried and dropped on uh, dropped up to several miles away. They analyze the seeds with an attached feather puff, feathery puff that allows them to simply be carried by the wind so to a faraway location. Other plants, such as lords and ladies, wrap their seeds in an attractive berry which birds consume and then later deposit as, the, as waste a great distance away. Final, more mysterious example is the seed of the ocelot. It is known to be picked up by critters who then take it back to the nest. As soon as the animal goes to sleep, the seed sprouts in bloom, into bloom. It's not known quite understands how the plant is able to detect when the creature is asleep. Okay. Well, we can at least quickly do this one way we're here. Which we'll do this. What was that? I think there was like a weird thing then. No, you don't want. Oh no, I need a bird, don't I? No, a critter. What kind of creature? What do you say? Song by the Brute Duration. The beat PMs. Okay, hang on, I need this one. Is. Critter. What critter do I need? Where is the rules again? Where did, where did it? Where did this one grow again? Hang on, let me breathe out again. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Gray squirrel, yes. Field, animal, meadow, woodland. Where am I supposed to dog what? Maybe mole. They sleep, you know? Hmm, how am I supposed to know which one I want? Oh, maybe the actual grey squirrel. We have the grey squirrel in here? No, we do have the mole and all of that. Hmm. The field card for an ocelot. So what was it? Field. 
Red squirrel, okay. Red squirrel's sleep is 120. Seed is picked up by small animals such as the red squirrel, who then store it inside the nest. Once the animal falls asleep, the ocelot depends on the, depends up on the heartbeat vibrations to make open and bloom. Depends. I don't think the word up is supposed to be there. Yay! Go, let's go, let's go. Oh no! Hang on, we're going this way. And we're going to go back with the handle. You can quickly put this one in the front area. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Another friend for the table. Back we go. Okay. Nice. Now I have to make sure I get the handle. We go to do the prettiest one last then. Glowing things are always pretty. Okay, off we go. There's a shine, maybe, that I'm seeing? Maybe. When I come out of that room, there's always like a white glow. Oh. My legs are sore, and my throat is parched like I've actually been running. <laughs> Uh. All right, let's do that again. Oh, okay, um. Go. Did I already have it filled in? Yes, I did. Do I go play the thing now? Go. I 
don't know if I'm doing this right. Go back up. Find the Morse code stuff. This is tricky. Yeah, there's more stuff here. The secrecy and observation planning is required, and both parties must have knowledge of method of commission views. The brief history of long range methods. Morse code, 19th century. I am unsure. Was that news article again? Who was there? Had to be attention, which is K A. Uh, what am I meant to do? Am I meant to? Do something good at first. Maybe I meant to turn off the water so I can hear it? Nope. This one I'm a little stumped on. My spelling just attention. Okay, let's try. T T and and I forgot how it went then. I can take it with me? Oh I can. Oh my god. How do you know I could take it with me? I just wanna turn turn. If I knew I could pick it up, I would have picked it up immediately. I was just playing around. All right. Let's try that again. Oh, it's down. K A. So. Yeah, I think I need to. Oh, never mind. 
There we go. Oh, they're so pretty. Wow. This definitely demands attention. Oh, that is so pretty. Fool's Emerald is a vine that contains Luciferin. Luciferin. Luciferin? <laughs> Which allows it to create light. They grow in caves where they use the light to communicate with each other, very much like Morse code. I wonder what it looks like from outside. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's like sparkling in there. It's so pretty. To the gatehouse. All right, back inside, not this way. Uh -huh. Look at the way they're twisting. Okay, to the gatehouse. Probably could have come this way and been fast up, but it's okay. We got to see it in the dark a little longer. What is here for us? Lady Arabella, I apologize wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the formal garden. I've already read that one. Oh. <gasps> Mayflower Publishing House. Hey! Nice! Botany Manor, a game by Balloon Studios. Oh. Mm. It's because we were just filling out a thing. I don't know, like, it's you learn very little about her through it. Looks like we will finally be able to, we finally were able to become a teacher. I don't know if I want to skip it, if it's going to be something. It's okay. <laughs> oh, one year later. Let's see. Oh, look, there's a birdie in here. Presented to Lady Arabella Green by the Women's Education Union on the occasion of her opening the Green School of Botany, 12th of April, 1891. Oh, yay! The key. Green School of Botany. Ceremonial key. Oh, we turned it into a school. My herbarium! <laughs> Teacher's apple. <laughs> Garden flora, lesson one. Air purifying flowers, windmill wart. Teacher, Lady Arabella Green, Eliza, Jessica, Catherine, Ada, Marion, Thomasina. My dear Flora, I'm terribly sorry for your, sorry your herbarium didn't get picked up for publishing. I am most excited about your new plans to turn Bonnie Manor into botani Botanical Academy. I look forward to visiting the school and meeting the talented students you have taken under your wing. Let's hope they carry on our flight. Our fight. Lots of love, Elizabeth. P.S. Arabella, I hope you don't mind me still calling you by your childhood pet name. So 
but they didn't, did they? <laughs> oh my god! Yay! Oh, that was so sweet. That was that was a nice ending. That was good to see. I like that. It is very sad, and it, it's just it shows you how far we have come, at least in. You know? Yeah, like, how, f how far we have come in, um... Like, being able to do things as women. And just... Like, the determination one person can have to continue going even when everything else is telling them, no, to stop. I really like that. Like, apart from, you know, the fact that the the flowers and, like, getting to be able to work out how they all worked by little things around the house. They were really pretty, but, yeah. I feel like it had a deeper meaning behind a very simple, pretty game. And I think overall, like, it was not overly hard. Sometimes you had to think a little harder on maybe, you know... Some people won't pick up on the nuances straight away. I think it was a really nice game to play though. It was very chill still. There we go, we did it. We finished a game in a week. <laughs> that was Botany Manor. <laughs>